Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, what is client server architecture of the internet. Uh, suppose say, uh, we want to access uh, some website. Then uh, what we used to do is we will uh, uh, write uh, the URL in the address bar. Okay, like this. So in this case, I am trying to access the website uh, ndtv.com. Okay. So I have given uh, HTTP. Uh, colon uh, double slash www.ndtv.com okay so after uh, uh, writing the url in the address bar then i will click enter okay so once you click enter this uh, request will uh, go to the uh, server where uh, ndtv website is hosted okay so basically uh, the client machine will uh, connect to the server and it will send the uh, request to the server okay the server will receive the request it will process the request and it will uh, send back the response uh, to the client okay so in this case client is my machine okay so the client receive the request and it will interpret that uh, response and it will show the information in the browser in this uh, way okay uh, so here uh, the client uses uh, hypertext transfer protocol to send uh, uh, request to the server okay so here uh, if you see this uh, diagram so browser send a client request to the web server so in this case uh, it is trying to access uh, page.stm okay from the web server then what the web server will do is it will receive this uh, request and it will process the request and it will send uh, content of uh, page.html uh, to the browser okay uh, or it will send error code in case uh, this uh, page.html is uh, not present in the web server okay so this is how uh, the client server architecture of the internet uh, works okay Uh, in some scenarios, uh, the web server can act as a client also and server also. Uh, suppose say uh, the web server uh, hosted the website uh, that is in uh, static nature, meaning uh, it contains only static pages. Okay. So in this case, uh, the client sent uh, uh, request uh, to the web server for any static page. The web server will uh, get that uh, page or that static page uh, from the local machine and uh, it will return back to the uh, client okay so in this case uh, server is acting as a server only okay uh, suppose say uh, the web server hosted the website which is in uh, dynamic nature then uh, the dynamic content that will be stored in uh, database okay so database can be oracle or mysql or sybase uh, so in this case uh, the client send uh, uh, request to the website okay uh, in this case uh, we are sending uh, http colon double slash uh, dot com slash index dot php okay so once uh, the web server receive the request uh, then the web server has to get uh, that index dot php content from the database because uh, the website is uh, in dynamic nature so data will be there in the database okay so the uh, database uh, provides uh, the content to the web server so that is what you are seeing here then the web server will uh, uh, formulate the content and uh, it will uh, send a response uh, back to the client okay so in this case uh, the web server acting as a server for the uh, client okay and uh, uh, at the same time the web server acting as a client for the mysql uh, uh, database uh, server so uh, the web server is acting as a client also and a server also okay and uh, this is about uh, client server architecture of the internet and uh, thanks for watching bye